Let's talk about sex. Well, HPV, human papillomavirus, the number one most common sexually transmitted disease in the United States. Now, why is that important? Well, it has a huge infectious rate, but most cases spontaneously resolve on their own. But it's an important precursor to cervical cancer. HPV vaccine is the first vaccine that we've ever had to prevent a cancer. Now, HPV is usually acquired through sexual contact with an infected person. Its manifestations include genital warts, respiratory papillomatosis, which is basically a genital wart that happens in the respiratory tract, cervical dysplasia, which is a cervical cancer precursor, cervical cancer, other cancers of the female genital tract, penile cancer, and some throat and neck cancers. What you have to understand is the huge numbers associated with HPV. HPV currently in the United States infects 20 million people. It has an infection rate of 6.2 million new cases per year. We have now been found to have 64% of sexually active adolescent girls that are positive for HPV. Now it's important to know what are the precursors of the risk factors for developing HPV and then cervical cancer. And what they found are their young age at your first start of sexual activity, frequent partners, infrequent use of condoms, some genetic predisposition, and sexual activity with a male partner who has not been circumcised. Now the end numbers are even more devastating. We have 11,000 new cases of cervical cancer caused each year and 3,800 deaths due to cervical cancer. Now, human papillomavirus actually comes in many different subtypes. The two most common types of cervical cancer are squamous cell carcinoma and adenocarcinoma and both are caused by HPV. Those two subtypes, types 16 and 18, are responsible for 70% of the cervical cancer. So we don't have a vaccine for all of it, but we do have a vaccine that could hopefully prevent 70%. Now this vaccine is given as a three-shot vaccine that typically is recommended starting at any age after nine. You usually get one vaccine, get another one in two months, and the third one six months after the first. Contraindications include a moderate to severe illness, an allergic reaction with a prior dose of the vaccine, or pregnancy. It can't be given during pregnancy. Side effects are usually mild with painted injection sites, some fatigue, maybe low-grade fever, and again, sometimes we'll see syncope or them passing out from holding their breath typically while they're getting the vaccine. Now, how much is this gonna affect things over the long run? It's still, it's only been given in the United States for about 10 years, so the numbers will pan out over time. But at least theoretically, it's very cool to have a vaccine to prevent a serious cancer.